Alright guys, so we have the return of Kentoki Rider, Ruler Katsukado, and Caster Shuten over on the JP version of the game. So I'm going to teach you guys how you're going to be able to get these servants. It's actually really, really simple. This is also going to be a PSA for my NA players to go ahead and make sure you finish up your story because you don't want to be left behind when you actually get the ability to get these servants over on the NA version of the game in like two years. I know it's a long time, but I'm going to have people in like 2025 being like what can toki riders back i still haven't finished solomon i'm still gonna have people like that on streams and in the comments and whatnot but yeah we're gonna talk about this evocation festival i guess is what we're going with with this one but before we actually begin make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel because your boy is out here trying to make sure that you are up to date on all the goings on on the na and jp version of the game but if there's anything that you feel that i did not cover or you have a question about something i have both my discord with a very nice and helpful fgo community in it and my twitch link down in the description down below where even if i'm not streaming fgo i'm streaming like arc nights or something i'll still be there to answer your FGO questions at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday. But with all that being said, let's just start diving right into this. So this is actually really, really easy. I was surprised at how you can pretty much just go ahead and nab all three of these servants at NP5, all of their essential material, rather easily you know, with no hassle at all, as long as you've pretty much just been playing the story. But even then, they've got a login bonus kind of going, so that even if maybe you're going through the campaign at least, or you're struggling at a certain point, you could still kind of get some of the leaves, or if you really want to go for the coins, you can also go ahead and do that. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to, like, bum rush it and just be like, oh, I'm only getting Kentoki Rider, I'm not getting Shuten, I'm not getting Ketsukado. You do want to grab all three of these servants. Prioritize getting Kentoki Rider first, because even if you're really early on in the story because you'll notice right here you actually get them you get like a huge heap and helping of them depending on where you complete uh the story chapters right and these are like huge globs of the feathers that you're able to get that you're able to just grab all of them at np5 it's a little annoying like i don't want anybody to freak out but you like grab one of the copies then you got to pull out of your box then you can buy like the four copies, like the extra NP copies. It's really strange. So don't freak out if you like buy one copy and you can't buy the others. You have to pull out of your box first for whatever reason, I guess to log that you technically have the servant. But yeah, you're able to grab all of them. But the reason you want to grab all of them is this right here. Look at this. If you clear all of these missions, which includes getting all of them to level 10 and level 40, you're able to get yourself a Holy Grail. Now, they don't require you at least yet because this is only part one of the evocation festival who knows what they're going to be doing for part two but at least now they're not requiring you to np5 all three of them right so if you just wanted to grab your copy of like say katakata ruler or caster shoot 10 and then just call it a day so you could get at this free grail and these 12 saint quartz by all means go ahead and do that just call it a day but I would recommend maybe getting them all done because I feel as though they'll probably roll out a buff for the three of them. Now, Kentoki Rider definitely does not need it. He's kind of just like the most basic, straightforward servant in the game, but that's not a bad thing, right? Having generic good buffs is just enough sometimes to get you across the finish line. I mean, a 50% battery plus a really solid quick buff in conjunction with a pretty good damaging NP just allows him to just be standard dot JPEG good single target quick servant, right? There's no fancy bells and whistles on this guy. There's no special damage mods or no conditional like triple guts that like, well not triple, but double guts that like Tyra can do, right? None of, none of this crazy stuff that anyone else can do, but it's still good enough, right? Because the quick buff is decent enough that he's able to refund his NP rather consistently. The 50% battery is good enough to get him started because it has really good synergy with uh, starting charge CEs. It's also gonna be very nice for people that are struggling on some of those 90 plus and 90 plus plus nodes because you can use his 50% battery in conjunction with say a double Castoria setup to have your Kentoki Rider take out like a larger enemy because again, he's a free NP5 because both of the Castorias will give you 60%, 50% battery allows him to get to full NP just from 0% right you can also use it for more convenience if you want to go for his append skill right you want to go for the np one the 50 percent plus that starts him at 70 percent and then you only need one of the cast Tori's np in case you need to like plug suit him around it just makes him like dot jpeg really good servant right sometimes just being very simple is enough and if they're going to give him anything i think they'll just buff the skill that has like what the 3k heal and i think it's like attack 
down resistance specifically and something really weird like that it's not super great i think they definitely could throw a buff over there what they would do i have no idea right because kentoki riders kind of like say archer gilgamesh where i feel like you got to be really careful when you buff that servant because they're so basic and so generic i want to say that if you give them anything too good they'll just take it and run with it but i guess gilgamesh is fine right because he's a limited five star servant if he's super nutty broken who cares katoki right is a free to play servant that's going to just be available so like you know you don't want to make him too busted because then you can't sell your other single target quick servants like not even your riders just all single target quicks right because now that he's back it's going to really temper a lot of people uh, summoning for single target quick servants because they have to be better than Kentoki Rider. And while he's not like the best single target quick servant in the game, he's pretty good, right? And even though he's not like the best, quote unquote, he'll get you across the finish line, right? Like he's just still good enough, like good damage, good refund, 50% battery to just get you there, right? And so it's going to be a thing for a lot of people that they're going to have to make, I think, single target quick servants really, really good moving forward because now everybody just has the option to just scoop up Kentucky Rider for free. So they've got to be better than him if they want to sell us single target quick servants, which to be fair with how everybody thinks that quick is dead, they probably need to make them really nutty broken anyway. So yeah, Kentucky Rider, if they're going to roll out the buffs or whatever, I think they'll just buff that skill. But these two definitely could use some buffs because these are just some of the more awkward free-to-plays I've seen. I feel like Quetzalcoatl is kind of fine. Like, she has this thing where she wants to be like an Iskandar, Emia, or Raiko, right? Where they have this Buster AoE NP, but they can use that NP to gen a lot of stars, right? And I feel like she kind of wants to do that and like support the party but also be able to do like some good buster crits herself i feel like giving her a little bit more direction with the buff just really anywhere they could toss some buff on anything and it'd probably make her a lot better would be really nice caster shoot in i mean like i bro like this servant is just all over the place there is just so much we need to do i mean this is good i guess like this is still fine good damage mod good attack but bro like we could crack this up to like three turns and throw on like a 30% battery and it would make her so much better. I mean, even this is just a little, I guess the Pierce of Asians fine as a free to play servant, but I mean, I'm probably not in the wrong year that I feel like she probably should have been like an art servant because she's competing with Ilya and Sanzo. And uh, well, Sanzo is an 80% battery and Ilya has a 50% and it does insane damage. So yeah, I would really like to see what they're going to do with her because uh, she's definitely going to need it. But it's also why I recommend picking up all three of them, because if they do roll out a buff for all three of them uh, during the part two of this evocation festival, then that means it's going to be free. I almost said gems because I've been playing like other <laughs> gacha games recently. I've been cheating on FGO, but it's going to be free sand quartz, right? For doing all of those rank up missions and everything. Plus, remember, you still get like the rare prisms and everything for leveling them up and all that good stuff. So make sure you get all that stuff done. And you do want to be able to claim this grail and all of that. Now, something else that I want to go ahead and note, well, I guess real quick, these are not this, but the uh, Quetzalcoatl costumes are now in the Da Vinci shop as well. So if you want the Libra mask, you can get that. But the other thing is that they rolled out this summoning banner. I guess it makes sense because it's like, oh, their free to play versions are out. What if we made their limited versions in there as well? I really don't feel like this is going to get anybody. I mean, as cool as I think Kentucky's costume is, that makes him a little like tempting for me to summon because dude, look at this guy. This guy is so sick. He goes from like, I don't know, just kind of like, yeah, he, he looks like, okay. Like, you know, he's cool and everything, but then he's just like, oh my goodness, this guy is such a chat. He looks so sick. Uh, but even then, how are you going to tempt people with this banner when Tiamat is literally like three weeks away, maybe four weeks well, we know she's supposed to come out for Golden Week, so that's about the like last week of April going into May, and we might get details for her, I would expect, like maybe the week before that and like a live stream or something. So yeah, like who's summoning on this? Like if you're playing on JP and you summon on this banner, you're a big dummy, all right? Because time that's going to be coming back around. And I'm imagining even if she is another AoE servant, nobody's going to care because it's finally mommy time at in the game. So I know ain't nobody going to care about that. And everybody's going to be putting their quartz over there. I mean, dude, they even threw Gilgamesh out there on like a surprise raid up over on JP. And that's my favorite character. And I'm like, I don't know. Let me see how good this time at character is going to be. Like, let me see how nutty she's going to be. So 
yeah i don't think anybody's gonna get got by this but yeah let me know if you're excited for this on the jp version of the game uh this is not something where it's like if you need to like rush in and do it immediately like if you're a na player and you're like if i don't do this right now i'm not gonna be able to ever get them again because they are permanent right and you get a metric butt ton of the feathers over here enough to like pretty much max them all out aside from servant coins from just doing the story the only thing you're going to be missing out on are like some saint courts and extra feathers over here if you don't log in right now but i don't know how many people actually really care about doing the servant coins for these servants because none of them really need their servant coin or their i guess a pen skill bus but yeah let me know what you're uh thinking in the comments down below and i will catch you guys in the next video peace late guys